Welcome back and thank you very much indeed for your time here on the paper review segment. And uh, the Daily Guide this morning says, Kidnappers killed Takradi girls. Families reject DNA. President is sorry. South Africa apologizes for xenophobia. Queen Mother nabbed in Otun Force Chief murder. And Rawlings wades into a Santahene NDC Bruhaha. The Finder newspaper, citizens of 167 countries live in Ghana. 22,000 and in excess of that issued foreign foreigners ID cards so far this year and 2009 mass registration for foreigners underway at the Accra International Conference Center. Tension eases as GS addresses SHS placement concerns. Majority of businesses in Accra lack confidence in local assemblies and xenophobic attacks essay to compensate properly registered Ghanaian businesses. The Daily Graphic. SHS placement, 90% done. And the council a photo of Dr. Kwabina Bempatando, Deputy Director General of the Ghana Education Service in charge of uh, access and quality. Professor F.T. Sai passes on. Sorry, uh, apologies and condolences to his family. Stop holding yourself as Kwabeng Chief or Chehene Orders Military Officer. And where from these bones, families of tardy missing girls question DNA results. The Ghanaian Times. Xenophobic attacks on African nationals. SA apologizes to Ghana. Special envoy delivers message to president. And uh, three families of tardy kidnapped girls reject police DNA report. P public rejects one Peswa coin as legal tender. That's a question. And Calm returns to school placement center. Finally, the BNFT this morning. Kintampo waterfalls canopy draws more tourists. Collapsed banks were beyond redemption, according to uh, Mr. Addison of the Bank of Ghana. Dr. Addison, I beg your pardon. And reforms needed to tackle future child kidnapping cases. That's the Child Rights International speaking with Bright Appears photo at the front. My guest this morning, the Honorable Andrew Ejapa Mesa, is a member of parliament for the second D constituency. And also the Honorable uh, Motala uh, Mohammed is uh, the well, the people say the incoming MP for the Tamale Central Constituency, yeah. former Deputy Minister for Trade. Gentlemen, welcome. Good morning. Always Good morning. a pleasure. How are you doing, Santa? I, I hear there's no trouble in your school. Everybody is okay. Placement um, system. Everybody. Well, uh, good morning. Good it's morning fine. to my church viewers, uh, particularly my constituents. <coughs> Second B. Mm -hmm. um, of course, uh, sad news from uh, day before yesterday. Mm -hmm. Obviously, this morning, uh, regarding Prof. Sai, uh, very mm. eminent Ghanaian. Mm. Uh, of course, these are the people who, uh, among several others, who have inspired, I believe, mm. those of us who have committed to public service and uh, contributed significantly to the growth and development of this country. And my heart definitely goes out to the family this morning. Mm. Of course, he's lived a full life. And so these are uh, people who would <coughs> celebrate. Mm. That uh, is, is an inevitable end. And, and so to that extent, uh, when people live a full life, unlike our sisters in Takradi, mm. whose lives were truncated by, uh, according to the police, some evil people who find themselves in our society. Mm. Uh, we need to celebrate people like this and mourn for our sisters who, who, who were brutally taken away from their families this morning. Mm. But on the Santa front, uh, I guess that uh, many other schools mm. do not have issues. Uh, of course, uh, the setting up of the solution center itself mm. presupposes that the Ghana Education Service and the Computer Payment Secretariat uh, anticipated some challenges to arise, uh, particularly in situations where the choices of students mm. uh, were not offered them uh, because of their uh, aggregate and raw score. Uh, because I'm sure, uh, Johnny, you've mm. had time without number the explanation of how the processes work. Mm. Every student who is placed in a particular school is as a result of the fact that that student, him or herself, chose that school. Mm. Mm. And so if for some reason all your five choices are not offered you or there are no vacancies in those places, mm. then you then again ought to go back onto the system mm. and do what we call self-placement. Which the first one was done and they say it was null and void. 
well, because the system, according to Dr. Tando, had a problem. So those who went to do, for example, those who went to choose Achimota, and by, by the way, the system shouldn't have shown them Achimota at the time, because Achimota is an early school, uh, like Adesada, like Mfanspim, like Prosec. So if you, uh, for example, are doing self-placement around that time when everybody should have gotten their places, then those A-class schools should not be showing because they'll be full at the time. So the system itself presented the difficulty which we are facing I've after looked, 14 uh, years. I haven't had the explanation of the null and void, but I'm not in a position to doubt mm. you at all. Uh, uh, but then again, uh, that, like I said, goes to show the setting up of the center that when these problems arise, and uh, we've all used technology mm. Uh, at one point or the other. I was sitting behind my computer yesterday. Mm. I just done uh, some work, saved it, I retrieved it to do some corrections because new thoughts had right. come to my mind. And the system would just not open. You know, mm. so, so these things happen. But if they happen, what are the remedies mm. that you put in place to mm. ensure that mm. uh, people who are confronted with a particular situation get assistance? Uh, you see, we live in a country where uh, most times we politicize everything, you know, uh, and so you hear people say that, well, why did you change the software, mm. for instance, mm. and uh, uh, you've terminated the appointment of all the people <clears throat> who work there, and you ask yourself, software improvements do not happen, has a computer placement system been in place from day one, never been changed? until this year mm. or that over the time that the system was introduced from 2005 mm. there's been times that the need has arisen for us to change the system because mm. new technology has evolved and 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 so we need to necessarily upgrade change or improve the system but you did, hear, did, you did hear you, the political did we run a pilot for example when we changed i'm sure uh, this that new system if, because that's a standard if no pilot had been run of course, they can't run pilots with uh, uh, the entirety of the data that they expected mm. to go on. But you're and saying that we had, we had run a pilot? Absolutely. Okay. Why would anybody implement a system without running a pilot? That's you assuming. I'm Do saying know that there's... Unless, of course, you have contrary proof that no, I'm no pilot was I'm, I'm asking. So, and so, okay. so let's not belabor the point. No, but you're you saying that I'm, nobody I'm saying will that run. And I'm saying, oh, Councillor, I'm submitting to you that <laughs> do you know for a fact... I didn't know that you are <laughs> turning into a <laughs> process examiner. Do, do you know for a fact <laughs> if if, uh, if this pilot was run? I, I don't know for a fact, okay. but it, was, it is my reasonable expectation okay. that rolling out a system like this would go through the necessary tests mm. to ensure that it is able to withstand whatever pressures okay. that may arise but okay. potentially mm. there could be mm. and so you put in place measures to resolve problems that come up right you know turns out and it's an allegation of course i cannot prove it but mm. the minister of education <clears throat> made statements to that effect that yes people had legitimate concerns and mm. went there some uh, you can interrogate as to whether their concerns were actually legitimate mm. because if you choose a disadult Infant uh, Pim, mm -hmm. Agri Memorial, Ghana National, and uh, uh, St. John's School. You don't get at this other, you don't, don't get Infant Pim, you mm -hmm. don't get Agri Memorial, but you get St. John's School. Mm -hmm. It is your choice. Right. It is your aggregate and your raw score that placed you not in at this other, mm. not in Infant Pim, not in Agri Memorial, but in St. John's. They, they concern but about. People go there and mm. say that, well, I don't like St. John's. Mm. Put me in Adesada. That's that's not possible. So 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 people like that went there. People who did not have placements mm. because, like you said, there were some challenges with the system mm. on the day that it was opened, and so they couldn't get that. Mm. Also went there, legitimate. Mm. But it's been alleged that others too passed people there. Well, that's what the minister just for to education. create that's what a the certain minister for sense. Education. But that's why I said, Johnny. Okay, so that let, let it's me. an allegation. Mm. I cannot sit here and prove it. Okay, but I do not have any cause to doubt the minister's assertion because you see, because we politicize everything in this country, mm. people want to take advantage of situations to create a certain impression. When so, so the fact, minister, the minister says that people faked their collapsing just for twenty and fifty cities. 
I, I didn't think he, he should have said that. What, 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 if why, why, have why not? A, a genuine medical situation. You don't say that people see, are faking to, to faint but obviously, for 20 years. Obviously, CDs. based on the intelligence that he had, which clearly goes to confirm that people had actually paid people to go there, provided them buses to take them there. So the ambulance service was offering okay. what? And, uh, and mount to mount resuscitation, CPR. Oh, um, it was also um, fake. Johnny, <laughs> you see, I'm not saying that everybody who fainted there, uh, if indeed there were many people who fainted mm. there, were faking it. Okay? that's And I don't think that that's what the minister mm. said yesterday. I've heard him. Okay, he didn't say that everybody who went there and fainted fake their fainting. But to the extent that people were paid to go there, people could have been told to do other things. Are you, are you able to verify that claim? How am I able to verify a claim of that nature? But you are the one saying, okay, you look, are the one reacquiring what the minister I, said. I, I am on a particular platform with the minister okay. who forwarded statements to that effect that he had received onto that platform. Okay. Okay, and he mentioned names. We, who, so, whose name you see, did he mention? No, nah, it's not for me to say. You oh, see, no, but, but I'm not aware at all. Must all. Prove. Look, okay. we, we all Bobo, no, Bobo, Johnny, you Johnny, must Johnny, prove. Johnny, Johnny, you see, it is important mm. that we as a people deal with issues as they come up. Okay. To the extent that they affect our children. You hear people because of the free SHS. That's why the placement is having problems. We live in this country. In times past, mm. placements took place from September all the way through to December. Mm. True or false? At that time, had they mm. introduced any free SHS? In any event, what is free SHS? It wasn't... It what was, has the, free it, SHS got to do with children who have passed an examination? Are you saying that... The, the placement the, at the time was manual. It wasn't digitized. Who, who said so? We, I mean, the teachers used to uh, congregate no, at Accra Girls School. I'm not school, talking. And you would have your your, look, your the card. computer placement was introduced in 2005. Right. At the time, there was no free SHS, was right. it? Right. Right. So that's the period that I'm talking about. Mm. I'm not talking about the times that we did common entrance or okay. SHS. Okay. And people went mm. to school after school to look. R wrap up for me. For, let's for, let's for, uh, for, for places. Let's, so I'm saying mm. that to the extent that we live in a country, we evolving. Mm. Some of these things would happen. Okay, governments, I'm sure, in the past have sought to perfect the system. Let's not bastardize situations when they arise. Mm. Attribute blame to policy that hundreds of thousands of Ghanaians are benefit, mm. benefiting has no relationship whatsoever mm. to the place. And because as far as I'm concerned, free SHS is government's decision to absorb mm. the fees and costs associated with secondary education. What has that got to do with placement? What, what Yet, would you, what would, we you, what would we? What would you say, finally, what would you say to the voices on the street that suggest that, look, it's easier to accommodate day students. It's cheaper. And so the system is trying to push most of the people who selected or elected to be boarders to become day students because it costs more to take care of a border than a day student. What do you say to that? You see, uh, that is part of the speculation that... I fail to appreciate. Because are you suggesting to me that if Addis Adel, which is the school that I would use, because mm. that's where I went to school, has places for 1,000 beds, mm. Ghana Education Service, because of cost, would take 800 and leave the 200 beds vacant? Mm. Is that what you are saying? Or that if they have 1,000 beds, because more people want to be boarders, mm. they should take 1,200 so the 200 can go and stand? Is that what you are saying? Mm. When the authorities have indicated quite clearly that as much as possible, choices of students, it's what the computer works with. Mm. So what are we talking about? Thank you. In any event, mm. if that contention is even to be taken mm. serious, mm. all the e-blocks that Mr. Mahama built, where, where, which other nature of students apart from these students can be placed there? Okay, thank you very much. Uh, or they have body facilities that <laughs> did not spring up or we didn't see or can't see. Mudala, step in for me. So, uh, Calm has re been restored at the placement center. And you've heard Bobo say that, well, most of the allegations are, are just baseless. People are basing people, you couldn't say who. 
and matters arising. Well, let me what do you also say? join him mm -hmm. in expressing my sincere and profound condolences to the families of Professor Sai. Mm -hmm. He's one person that if you have an interest in academia, you would have to be worried. We wish he had lived longer. Mm -hmm. And some of us have had the opportunity to have read his writings and listened to, to him. Mm -hmm. So my sincere you know, and profound condolences to the family. Permit me also to say good morning to the people of Tamale Central. Mm -hmm. And of course, your good self and my brother. It's been a while. Mm -hmm. I accuse him, just as I accused you last week, that I thought as a friend he would have found some space to congratulate yeah, me. You have developed a spirit of accusation. Yes. It's not good. It ought to be done <laughs> when it is necessary. In fact, it is essential that I accuse him just as and, I And I consider to you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. And extended due thank, cost, uh, th thank you. Co 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 congratulations. I, thank counsel, you. I did the same thing, thing, but he's thank repeating you. it. I expected know? him to do it on, on air, <laughs> but he failed to do so. Oh, congratulations, my brother, for thank your you. victory at the primaries. Thank you. Thank you. I wish I you well. That, uh, I wish you, you well. Win and come to Parliament. Thank you. I wish you well in your primaries. I know that there are a lot of people who may be contesting you. Then people within them, they are like wolves. Once one wolf is injured, that is not for you to say. I say once one that, wolf that is injured, that is not have, for you to you say. You have several other wolves pouncing. That is not for you to say. Him. Oh, uh, I know. Butala. I have a good friend who <laughs> is a st instrumental in Parliament who I served in the committee with. I know that there are big shots within their party who want to get him out. I know that for a fact somewhere in Eastern Region. Can you I, mention the name? I am scandalized. Of the and frankly speaking, I thought we have had enough of the recklessness and the irresponsibility of, of, of people who are taxed with their responsibility, who, who are paid with our taxpayers' money. I thought I had enough. But you know, if you read Cesaro's writings, mm. in one of it, he said that there are many, there are clowns that are in short demand, but you can find many in politics. I mean, it's, it's serious. My brother sat here and then he talked about the fact that everything has been politicized. Yet he goes and he ended by doing exactly the thing he admonished us that we should not be engaged in. What did, he say? Was, what did he say? Which why? Was he said that people have bashed people without a scintilla of evidence. He's a lawyer, mm. and I expect him to have known better that people have bashed people and his Take only. No, I'm saying that you're a lawyer. You ought to. Look, if I sit on a program... So, allegations cannot be made? No, no, no not... Or that please, please. allegations are... Uh, allow, allow, no, allow allow not allegations that are made on national television without a scintilla of evidence. Did and you, the only did, evidence, the only evidence mm. that he purported to give is that Mr. Napo, indeed... Dr. Put, Napo. Oh, why? Is he a, called President Mahama Mr. Mahama. Did you have any... Why is he a doctor? He's a mister. Is he huh? a doctor? What? Is President Mahama a doctor? It doesn't matter. It matters. I, why? I can call him Mr. Napu. You Mr. Are, is still a title. You are an, an academic. People. No, I say I can call him Mr. Napu. Okay. He's still a title. So, okay. So I call, don't necessarily need so call to call him. We'll call him Dr. A, Napu. A doc, that, that, okay. That's his due. Okay. I want us to call President Mahama okay. Dr. Mahama. Okay. okay. Dentist okay. Napu. No problem. You want me to call that's him fine. that way? Okay. Dentist Napu, if he's watching or listening. And I'm saying that he made, and his only reason, for making the very statement that the minister made was the fact that he shared something on platform. You are not dealing with just Did, did you bash people to the independence square to is, cause commotion? That, that is preposterous. To, to fake I'm fainting. saying that that is preposterous. Mm. And it demonstrates how insensitive this government and the, the appointees of this government are to families who are being challenged, to people who are struggling. And I was happy when you asked that question, that resuscitating people by the ambulance service, were they all so faking. These were people who were brought there by the very government, and they would have known if people were faking. I think that it demonstrates how insensitive, disrespectful, and insulting appointees of this government are to the people of this country. And it is not surprising. The Gumbes have approved it, that when the chief comes home with weird haircut, what we expect his subjects to do, they'll come with tapia. You remember when Ghanaians had problems with this U.S. Agreement, this mm -hmm. military agreement, and raise issues. When the president had the opportunity, he insulted all of us. He said that those who were raising concerns about it were naysayers, and he said a whole lot of things. I am not surprised that this same minister made that. And my shock about the irresponsible and reckless statement he made is to the fact that he's a dentist and he knows that when you want to treat a toothache of a patient, you need to be absolutely patient because that person is going through excruciating pain. 
These are families who are sleeping there. Do you know some families and students slept there last night? Mm. These are families, men and women, who came there. And you journalists, I, do, I don't think you went there looking for those who are purported to have been faking. Mm. You are looking for people who were desperate and they spoke to your cameras. You have a minister of state who is paid with our tax money, would sit and make such reckless and irresponsible statement. I have listened to a gentleman on social media mm. who said that, yes, President Nanado has appointed a lot of needless ministers, but he thinks that if the president can appoint a minister for common sense, that it will be. I am tempted. I am tempted to agree with that person so that he can keep on check some of this irresponsibility. Mm. And let's get serious. Let, let's look Why? at the positives. He specifically, please, mm. he specifically accused President Mahama. Specifically. Now, if President Mama, who is a former president of Ghana, and you think that you have evidence that he was engaged in such act, put it out there. Look, anybody can make allegations. Mm. Anybody. People, haven't people accused you in the past? How did you feel if you believed that the accusation was not true? Now, you sit on, 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 on radio, you know, speaking to the entire country, and you accuse a former president without a scintilla of evidence. You do, you do not even care the pain, the anguish that families are going through. Those young ones who were there, if he was a parent, he would have appreciated the pain that these people are going through. Is he not a parent? He's not. He's not. But you're going personal now. No, I'm, why? What is wrong with that? I'm saying if he was. If he was, he would have appreciated right, it. Of course, if you yeah. sit down, if you sit down you, and you are, you, please. You mean to say he doesn't fund people's education, well, I'm so he doesn't understand. Hold on, hold. I'm saying if what, what troubles I'm saying are going that, look, you see, let's get something straight here. Mm -hmm. Now, when he made those statements, did he take into consideration the pain that the families of those kids are going through? Did he, did he, for a moment, realize that he's a minister of state responsible in in in, in charge of education, and he ought to be considered? If he wants to even bash President Muhammad because they feel so, they hate the man so much, he should have been sensitive to the plight of these young girls and boys who are dying there because someone can collapse and will never, re they can't reach a state. 90% of, of the there, students have sit, been please, placed. Please, please, you no, sit no, no, there no, no, and, and two. Okay. And two. Yeah, I think you have stayed on this point for, for far too long. 90 because it has a lot of linkages. Relax, relax, relax. But, but, but when he was, can I, I but hold on. Uh, let me ask him this final question. 90% of, of, <laughs> of, the, <laughs> of the children have been placed, um, according to Dr. Tando. Uh, that's a positive, is it not? You see, on the issue of whether this particular problem we have has something to do with free SHS, and he tried to lampoon it. It has. It has everything to how do. How does it? I will tell how you. How does people go into school? I will tell you the reason. Free, I will tell. Become a problem. I will tell you the reason. The complaints of those young men and young women was the fact that they send them to places that they do not like. And by the way, I have listened to a student who made her accounts to Joy. TV. And he said that I didn't get any of the school I chose. Now he sat here and he says that people, the computer sent people to schools they chose. There is evidence but, but, that but, some people but, but were then, sent then, to schools they But then Dr. Tandor has explained that, can, can that, I, can Dr. I, has explained that your raw score, your aggregate will determine whether the five schools you chose uh, you fall within any I of am them. making and my in statement. Fact, in fact, you need to ch have chosen one day school. Johnny, I am making my list. statement based on what he just said. And he said that it has got nothing to do with the free teachers. It has. It has because President Mahama was engaged in providing day schools in every most communities. Which he has acknowledged. I'm saying that most communities. Which he has acknowledged. He, that did, day he, schools, said, he said that was it. It's not just Borden. If there's a day school in my community, perhaps. I won't be sent somewhere that will be extremely difficult for me to go because that school I've been sent there is a day school. Now, if someone lives in Accra mm. and then they posted the person in the day school in Accra, the person wouldn't have much worry. Then you live in Accra. Maybe they sent you somewhere in Nantong, in Mai, or in Tamale that they sent you to a day school. You have no parent. You know nobody there. At that age, you ought to be renting a place. There have been cases by NGOs that are working on education of defilement of young girls and young boys who have been subjected to unscrupulous conduct of certain individuals because they are forced to rent places at those ages. Yesterday, and I asked my brother. Yesterday when I asked, I asked, I asked my this brother, question, I asked Eric Chum says I was being sensational and disingenuous. What sensational? I asked my brother, would you want your 14-year-old girl to be sent to a school where the girl would have to rent a place and live on her own? Would you want that? You see, Now, when people raise this issue, what the minister does, he insults everybody. And interestingly, my brother is given, you know, some 
credence to okay. the insult so and the insensibility so to the Can so I finish? Uh, well, Can I, I finish? Let me ask you. Rapper. So you what's the problem? What what happened? Let me. <laughs> well, wait, you didn't answer <laughs> the assertions you, you that you have made. What are you talking about? Look, can I, I, can say, I'm saying that I say 90% of the students have been placed. That's good news, is it not? Well, who am I to even take into consideration whatever story they are giving us? 90%, yet we have hundreds, if not thousands, of young people who are still running there. 90% of them have been placed, yet you have families and kids who slept there last night. Mm. I am saying that they ought to be truthful. They ought to tell us what is the issue. Mm. It has everything to do with the reckless and haphazard implementation of the free SHS. It has everything to do with the insensitivity of this government in terms of education. If they had completed mm. those day schools President Mahama indeed provided, a lot of them would have been gotten places <sighs> to be placed. Then okay. you sit there and you is tell he, me that what has that Johnny, got to do okay, with the free Johnny, SHS? It has you. everything uh, to do. Thank can, you, can I finish? Oh. Oh, which allow, can, can you finish? In the first place, you, you see, <laughs> Thank you. Um, your deliberate attempt mm. at, uh, as it were, misunderstanding what the minister sought to say yesterday mm. is palpable. What, what did, what did you, you see? Say? Uh, allow me, Mutala, allow me to do my work. Look, the minister was not demonstrating insensitivity at all. What was he demonstrating? What he said was that, yes, People have legitimate concerns. Indeed, that was the essence of opening their place. Mm -hmm. But the fact of the matter is that added to the people who had gone there legitimately, whose concerns government had set up a place to address, were people who had no business being there who were passed there. Was that enough reason for him so to say people saying, were faking, hold on, hold faking, on, hold on. But, but, but it, Was that when, enough? When you say that... Mm -hmm. Is it related to a particular situation or a general situation? Well, he said people... Did he say I mean, everybody who fainted the, faked the, it? The host, no, is that what look, he said? Look, yesterday I watched the interview on Facebook Live. The host said, when he made that statement, the host said, uh, you know, who and who? And then they asked him to provide evidence. And then he jumped on, said, do I as I see most of them. And then he flipped on to the next topic. The next point. Some are so facts. even him, he couldn't provide evidence but to say see, that Johnny, I saw bus Johnny, with registration Johnny, number A, B, Johnny, C, D, Johnny, who Johnny, was in bus. Johnny, and that for me, I think is Johnny, pathetic for Johnny, to, to have come from. Let him. me let me let me let me let me tell you something. We live in this country, okay? Things happen. People do stuff that we know hear of, but you can't prove it. It doesn't happen. I'm asking you. Stuff like what? Unless, of course, you want to pretend as an ostrich. Stuff like what? And say that, oh, so is it every statement that, because, of course, if you are not there, mm. but somebody provides you an information mm. to the extent that, look, I know people are bringing buses of people there. You say, because you cannot prove it. So you can't put so, it out. So, so Bobo, is that a point? Bobo, Bobo, you're a member of parliament, and I know that most of you do a lot of social, you know, uh, uh, in investments for example in your constituency uh, there are children who, are, who may have had these problems and they come to you say honorable so you out of your magnanimity and munificence get them two or three buses to bring them to the independent square is that wrong two or three buses well, uh, Ooh, as I sit politicians here, politicians bus people, don't no, you? As, even as, as I sit no, here, no, I'm, I'm, as, I'm, I'm, as, 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 as I sit here, maybe Mr. Mama, did you tell us? Okay. Ah. As I sit here, you my constituents who have issues have sent me their uh, concerns, okay. and I'm You're trying to get with them. Okay. Some, I mean, the ones that can be resolved. Okay. Resolved. You see, in times past, we had issues with students who were posted mm. by the system. To places where they had a difficulty mm. in assessing accommodation mm. because they have been made the students. Yes, it's true. It happened last year, mm. and I believe the year before. That is precisely the reason why this year a new mechanism of placements were introduced where the placement is as a result of the student's own choice. Okay. And a caveat was put in there that in your choices, at least one of them should be a day school. But this in itself tells you that, you see, why are students not desirous of going to the community schools that Mr. Mahama built? 
if the GS had oh, uh, a chairman, guidance and chairman. counseling unit Get, guidance to, and counseling to guide unit. people. They don't have a right guidance right and counseling unit in our schools. All the schools mm -hmm. are full. Are you Who about? told you that? Which, which Last year, now I'm trying to retrieve the name okay. and I'll give it to you before we leave okay, here. Okay, retrieve yeah. it. No student applied to be placed in that particular school. Which school? Okay. One of your e-schools or e-blocks. Mm -hmm. You see, because yeah, the I, truth I, I, I of the matter is that Ghanaian children, students, prefer to go to certain categories of schools. Fact. And so, mm -hmm. it would have made much more sense. Mm -hmm. Okay? I'm not saying that it wasn't sensible. But on the scale of priorities, to improve and enhance infrastructure at schools that children would actually want to go. So, so as opposed to putting schools across so, the country so, so, that people are not even choosing. So, you know. So honorable, what happened? No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Tony, I'm coming. I'll address your question. You know that as we speak, there are more places than students. But some schools don't have any placement at all because nobody chose it. So, Bobo, let me ask you a, a simple question now. Uh, this what, exposes what is, what your the, the, the thinking no, behind what, your community schools that nobody is asking. What are we talking about? You said it's not even true. Who told you that? Tell, hold on the for Ghana me. education. Let me, let me give you this. This this allow me. No, no, no. Allow me. Allow me. Uh, uh, Mr. Mesa, so you're suggesting to me that Addis Adel is A class, Akraka is A class, Presec is A class, Wesley Girls is A class. You say people prefer those schools and they would not choose other schools, like but, say an uh, Am I the one who is saying it or you yourself? Now, 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 now I'm asking you, now, do you, don't you know this matter now, as a matter now, of fact? Now, now I'm asking no, you. Don't you know this matter now, as a matter now, of fact? Now I am asking you, if the government of the day has recognized this problem, what have you done to standardize all the schools so that it becomes this problem that we have doesn't become a problem? All, all schools, meaning what? All 700 you, of them. You upgrade the no, schools on. to a all certain level. All, all 700 schools, you mean? You, you, is it, no, is I'm it, asking. Is it impossible? No, I want clarity is so I can impossible? provide you an answer. Yes, is it impossible? Oh, it's possible, but it takes time. Because that's it, why, that's be, why, hold on. That's why in seeking to address that problem, mm. government has collateralized 1.5 billion of get fund proceeds mm. to enhance infrastructure such that today mm. the schools that children prefer to go mm. additional classrooms additional dormitories additional dining halls in excess of 800 projects across the country mm. is being built as we speak you know where you know what you know go what? to Archbishop Porter. you know why go to Fijai secondary school Go to Takradi Secondary School. At least these are the ones yeah, that I'm are, familiar with. And in fact, been the You're minister has put out a He's statement in so. indicating all the projects that are happening Yannick, across secondary schools in the country. Tell me that that one to you. So, so in the last National Science and Math Quiz, TEPA SHS beat Accra Academy. If you're putting them on the scale, TEPA SHS is nowhere near Accra Academy. But they beat them. Are you suggesting to me that... No. Uh, pay, your, pay your principle no, no, that you pushed. No, mm. pay your today, principle today. Pay your principle. Yes, hold if on. the results of the tell national you. science of tell is, you. is proved today, people will not want to go to TEPA SHS today. As a result of the policy of upgrading model schools implemented by Mr. Kufour, President Kufour, then Anglican High School mm. and Taman Secondary School, mm. Shama Secondary School are performing extra well. Mm. I'm sure that TEPA was part of that program. Yeah, so, sure. so then they become okay. Preferred. Of course, I don't so know. They, so then they become preferred. Absolutely. So then they become preferred. And so preferred. I'm saying that if Mr. Mahama had done same with existing secondary schools, mm. improve their infrastructure, schools that children would prefer to go to, mm. we wouldn't be having this conversation today where the e blocks that he built, many of them, nobody chooses to want to go there. My, my quick question to you now is that there, there's also the, the point there's also the point that um, some staff who used to manage their computer placement system had been shown the exit and which is why we are having some of these problems correct you have proof no I'm asking you no I'm asking so, so it's a so question so I, you tell I, I, me I sat in this studio mm. and my comrade Butala I'm a patriot he's a comrade okay <laughs> said <laughs> that he who has said alleges must prove exactly it's a maximum of equity Ready. yes they have been making that allegation mm -hmm. out there let them prove it okay uh, last year where, where, where were the people which allegation have that been making? people at the computer placement centers have been 
the, ah, the engagements have been terminated. But the people you have terminated their point, point even at the commercial bank, those who were you terminated them. But please, don't even go there. Okay. But you see, Johnny, 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 <laughs> I, frankly speaking, sometimes, I think that my brother needs to guess his facts very well from his government before he comes. Which, which facts government. are these? Why? He sits here and then he tells people that the day schools that President Mahama indeed provided were useless. Your government... Is that what I said? That's what you said. That's said, what it means. He said nobody chose That them. is what it means. He said that if he had, if he cares to know, he can check from this reckless minister for education who made that reckless statement. Check and find out the improvement and upgradement in the secondary schools that President Mahama and the NBC engage in. We're not only providing the day schools, we're improving the existing school. I attended Kulkul School. I'm here sharing a platform with him. Mm. From a disco. From a disco. So I'm saying that they should spare us this. If you think that it wasn't necessary, why did your government and your party promise providing 350? If you think that that was needless, if you think that it wasn't necessary, why would you now argue that it wasn't the NBC that provided it, it was the World Bank? If you think that this thing is not important, why would you say that the NBC indeed didn't provide the 200 that we claim we're going to provide and that you are going to do that? You know what they are providing? They provide just something like some few rooms. Mm. And now he calls that improvement. He by the way, the debt fund. By the way, by the way, by the way, by the way, the NPP in their history, the eight years under President Kufo, tell me how many secondary schools did you build? Zero. How many universities did you build? Now look at the NBC's history. Now today he's talking about what they have done with Get Fund. When we were introducing the VAT, for which reason Get Fund was instituted, you led a demonstration. The current president led a demonstration, and people lost their lives, including a 14-year old boy. You don't have the moral tepidity to talk about Get Fan and what Get Fan indeed has done in the area of education in this country. We are talking about a challenge, and the challenge is occasioned by the fact that the Ministry of Education itself admitted that they changed the software. And he's saying that, oh, if you have a software and then you change it, don't you change for improvement? It is fully hardy when you change for when you change something that was working perfectly. It is reckless when you change something that was working at least to a level of perfection. And last okay. year, why is it that we didn't encounter the problems we encountered last year? Mm. Why is it that we didn't encounter this years over the years? And now he sits here and he says that he who alleges must prove. You have just told us that Mr. Matthew Opoku Prampe provided reasons and evidences to that reckless statement he made on a platform. You have just told us that. You said he even mentioned names. He said a coward. In that same interview, said that he is not a coward. Now, if you are not a coward, why would you provide those names in a platform that you and I cannot substantiate? Minister speaks responsibly. He's been paid with our taxpayers' money. Okay. And I say this with repetition. Thank if you. he was a parent, mm. he would have appreciated the pain, the anguish that families go through. Mm. You don't come on a national television or national radio and insult people who are going through Thank you. desperation. Drink water. And that des please. Thank you. You see, that insult, if you don't respect President Mahama, if you think that all your blame should be put on President Mahama, please have some little decency to respect the pain that families are going through. Yeah, not like through. you. Thank you. That okay. is precisely so what the government is. That is precisely what the government is. WhatsApp is 0203 Thank you. We're moving on. And uh, we're talking about the, the Takradi uh, missing girls or yeah, dead girls uh, yeah, and true. matters arising from it. The, the families are demanding for uh, the remains of their beloved. They are asking that, well, they would go and do verification of DNA. And yesterday somebody said that how could an adopted child have a degree of uh, DNA that's close to, to that of a parent that didn't biologically bear that child. You come from that area, that side of town, and I can imagine how it 
you have been along with the parents as well. Uh, absolutely. What do you yeah. say to the matters arising? Johnny, I mean, I cannot begrudge anybody, uh, particularly the parents and families mm. of the Takradi girls mm. with whatever demands, comments, mm. uh, or trans statements that they make with respect to this matter. Okay. Um, of course, I have openly expressed my disappointment with particularly the director of CID okay. uh, respect to her comments that she made during that press conference where okay. she assured all of us uh, including the families mm -hmm. that the police knew where the girls were and that in due course they were going to be united with the family uh, I at the time said and I still stand by it that I thought that it was completely unwarranted for her to have made that statement mm. without the girls present because right. these were grieving families who wanted to be reunited with their families so to say mm. that i know where your children are without more uh, that is to say meeting the expectation of the families that look these are the children mm -hmm. that was clearly unacceptable and uh, uh, you know, I know her personally, <laughs> you know, but uh, I cannot mince words with respect to this matter at all. Mm. Uh, fast forward, uh, some agency, you know, uh, being put in this matter. Of course, I know that the police had always assured us that they, their eyes were on the ball. Uh, they were following some leads in Nigeria. Mm. Unfortunately, we are told that that lead went cold. And so, uh, they came back to the residence of the uh, suspect who has been arrested and is in mm. custody as we speak and retrieved some, uh, I don't even know how to describe it, whether they are bones or skeleton mm. or, uh, pardon me, my biology is weak, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, and, and had conducted some um, DNA examination mm. on them and had established that these were indeed the remains of of the four girls mm. uh, of course three of which became the most popular you know that we're all talking about uh, of course conveying that information to the families uh, with the backdrop of assurances that have been given in the past clearly would uh, elicit some negative responses, some uh, apprehension. Mm. Uh, and, and, and so all the comments that they are making, uh, all the statements that they are making, all the demands that they are making, mm. uh, are legitimate and expected. Except that I would call that, uh, yes, as painful as the situation is, we shall allow cool heads to prevail. They say they have not been treated well. Uh, um, the Johnny, police had an agreement I, with I them. Don't, I don't have... Well, uh, I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to sit here and... Uh, if I, there, there will be no basis for me to challenge mm. anything that the family says. Uh, yes, if they had some prior agreements with the police and they've not abided by those... Mm. Uh, 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 understanding that they reached. Yeah, they are entitled to voice it out. And for us to condemn if indeed the police had in any manner. How do we pick ourselves up from So That's, from, where, from that's this, where I was coming from, to. From this that point, because I, I think that there are two strands to this conversation. One, here's a police service that does an investigation for over a year. The family says we reject it. We don't have confidence in the results of the deoxyribonucleic acid Co co investigation that you did, which means that it's impugning the the confidence that other people who may have had other s incidents could have in the police. Then, on the reverse, it is also looking at how the public will react to the police in future if any such thing occurs. What do you say, uh, Johnny? That's that's our police service. 
we don't have any other okay and so yes we may have issues look there are several instances that we can point to that many of us mm -hmm. i'm sure including comrade may have been dissatisfied with the outcome of police investigation or the conduct of the police investigation itself okay i'm sure you've had experiences in the past mm. you know we all in our own ways have experiences with the ghana police service that did not end up the way we wanted it but i'm saying that that is the only police force that we have mm. of course they've done some good things as well uh, they've had some exemplary you know uh, 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 Things that have achievements under their belt. Mm. It's, an, it's an institution, it's a human one at that. And so, whilst we commiserate with the family, whilst we, uh, as it were, accommodate their concerns, and I hope that uh, the authorities would, you know, engage with them to try and meet them mm. some way, somehow, with respect to the demands that they're making, so that some closure can be brought to this matter. I don't think we should bastardize the police institution in a way that would would lose, you know, or will make them lose their relevance within our crime crime if fighting they, if space. They prom if they promise you, and there's a daily guide front page story that says the girls are in a crowd, they are 37 receiving medical I, I, help. I, I agree. The police CID comes to say, "Give me hope, Joanna. Give me hope." Johnny, I I agree with all that, and my disappointment with them particularly in respect of this matter mm. uh, has been amply stated okay thank you, you know, so, but, so 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 if i may I just mean, just to yes, wrap up um, um <laughs> yes. i i i think allow, allow i think that this this is my backyard so it's allow, fair. allow the man to land you know that i, I have an extra bite than you know so so, to so take, i to i take of course i know where he wants to go to where do i want to if if where, i where, where i yeah, but i would i would i would i would wait for him to go where you, I know he will go to. Okay. And then after I will respond. Ah, Johnny, Johnny. You see, where could he be Johnny, possibly going? Johnny, there, yes. there is a desperate attempt by government communicators to shift the blame on the Ghana police. President Nanadu and the MPP is absolutely responsible. How? And I'll tell you why. <laughs> why? Who appoints, who appoints the CID boss? Who appoints the woman? The president has the right to sack the woman at any point in time. And in serious countries. But if you sack the please, woman, can I finish? The can I finish? Why? Then you are telling me that if a thief stole something and then you prosecute and jail the person, it doesn't stop stealing. And I have listened to this work agreement that is being made and interestingly coming from government's own quarters that if you sack the woman, it won't bring back the kids. Mm. The purpose for prosecution and conviction, he is a lawyer, is one, deterrent. Two, to deal with people who engage in crime. Mm. And three, also to serve as a lesson. So that any other person may not engage in it. Mm. Now, if you tell me that sucking the woman won't bring back the kids, why? Then when a criminal steals, leave the criminal. Because prosecuting the criminal won't stop stealing. Mm. This woman, out of nowhere, except that there is something that we do not know, mm. said that they knew where the, the girls were. Didn't, it, didn't she tell us mm. that? In a press conference. Right. The government never denied that. The woman is answerable to the minister for interior. Right. The government never denied that, even at the time when people demanded that the woman ought to have told us where the girls were. Mm -hmm. And if the woman knew where the girls were, there is no any reason to, to doubt that the president and the government didn't know where the girls were. Mm -hmm. So Tiwa and President Nanado knew where the girls were, if indeed the girls were alive. At that time, what could have informed the woman to make the statement she made? Mm -hmm. And Johnny, in serious countries, this woman would not only be fired, she would be arrested and investigated. So that she has certain to tell the people of this country where those women are. So this desperate attempt to shift the blame on the Ghana Police Service won't wash. Two, you have the Minister for, for Gender right. who also travelled there. Why is it that he didn't talk about the statement that was made and the assurances given by the Minister herself? Mm. When the Minister travelled to meet the family, the Minister said that the girls the, the, will be reunited with their families. What information did the minister have at the time when she assured the family that they knew where the families were? The president's spiritual father, Reverend Osu Bempa, said that he knew where the, the girls were and that it will only take the clearing, chief clearing agent to, 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 to force him 
or to ask him to provide information as to where the president... Did the president tell you that Ousu Bempa is a spiritual oh, but, but it's not in doubt. Who gave the president the horn? The president has always recognized that that is his spiritual father. And if his spiritual father makes that statement, in any case, even if he is not a spiritual father, if a reverend minister makes such a statement, don't you think that the security agencies who were desperately looking for those missing girls would have to find out from him what he knows? So I'm saying that they should not shift the blame to the Ghana police. How does this that affect is, can the, I, can confi the confidence of the police service in the eyes of the public? Look, I have never doubted the professionalism of our Ghana police service. But I have maintained, and I have been saying this on this program, that Tiwa is unfit to even be a police, let alone head in an institution such as this. You are this not being fair to her. And I'll tell you the reason. She went through training. Oh, I'll tell you. She's please, qualified. Please. It's not about training. This woman is a subject for investigation. This is a woman who was caught on tape trying to cover up crime. She herself admitted it was her voice, but she said it was doctored, and that A plus had doctored the, the, the voice. In this country, if you doctor anybody's voice, it's a crime, let alone a deputy CID boss. The police themselves indicated to us that they had, they had commenced investigation into the matter. Out of nowhere, clearing agent came out of nowhere and promoted the woman to the CID head. Who would investigate the very thing? What has happened to that investigation? So there are every reasons to believe that she's unfit to even be a CID, let alone head in that institution. But then I was standing. That was her con conduct. But Johnny, I have served in government before. And MPP and President Nanado should not assume that they are ruling over a bunch of idiots. We are very rational in this country. There is no way a CID boss would have information on the whereabouts of the girls without the government knowing. Mm. There is no way. So at the time the woman was making that statement, President Nanado also knew where the girls were. Because if President Nanado didn't know where the girls were, the CID boss could not have made that statement in an uncalled for press conference. People didn't I, demand. I, I thought the police was independent. Why? The police are supposed to be independent. It's a state institution that is answerable to the executive government. The police is not like the judiciary or the legislative arm. They are answerable to the government through the Ministry of Interior. And I'm saying, okay. for a police, a CID boss to come out and say that we know where the girls are. They are safe. President Nanado knew where the girls, the girls were. President Nanado knew. The Minister of Interior knew where the girls were. So let us not desperately try to push the blame on the Ghana police. The President should be telling us where the girls were. And it is not for nothing that the family is raising questions. The question I ask is that when they were going to undertake the DNA, was the family involved? If they were involved, why would the family now question the DNA? In any case, I listened to Professor Acosta this morning on my way here. Mm. And he said that even if you have a DNA done on, on a matter like this, and considering the, 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 the interest that the international community has in this, that there is the need for another DNA test mm. to be done. Verification. I shudder to believe that the, the family was not involved in this. You cannot conduct a DNA without a body part or samples of a family. Did they take at least a hair or teeth? They did. Or they did. did. They Blood did that. samples and So all. If, yeah. if, they, if they did that, mm. how was the family involved in the processes of conducting the DNA? So if the family is now demand, mm. how were they don't involved? Be involved? Because if they were involved and they were satisfied with the processes, I really don't think that they will be raising some of these issues they are raising. So, okay. Johnny, there, no one should try to hoodwink Ghanaians. Mm. President Nanado and the Minister of Interior mm. knew where the girls were at the time Tiwa was telling the people of this country that they knew where the girls you were. Made by, because you are of your reasons. Of your reasons. Yeah. Are you please, saying please. that President oh. Mahama knew where they bought the coconut from to take to Brazil? Okay. Wait, which coconut? So, the one that... Okay. You see, you see, you see, you see no, why no, I said that? Like, I said that... You're made three demands. Listen. You're made three demands. No, no, he shouldn't, you he shouldn't, say, Mr. Try, President, he shouldn't try. Mr. President, can I make this one? Johnny, just 30 seconds. You say Interior Minister Johnny, this attempt... And you say Interior must go. Johnny, this attempt, you see, he's letting a possible loss of lives of no, his I'm constituents. Not. That is not exactly what all. you did. A possible you loss of lives of your constituents. Irrationality. Okay. Are you sensitive to your people? To attribute Bala, blame on the Are you sensitive to your people? It's what I'm pointing out yeah, to you. Because the CID boss, the, the CID boss, Report to the minister of extremely absurd yeah, yeah, the CID boss. Yeah, instances where the ministers of state are in your government. The CID boss reports. Mr. Mahama, I love it. Listen, the CID boss. Please report. keep the lady. The CID waiting. boss okay. reports to the minister of interior. The minister of interior right. reports to the president. Are you telling me the minister of interior didn't know? The president didn't know. The president knew. President Nanado and the minister of interior. Mr. Mahama knew where they bought the coconut. The life of your president you compared with coconut. I'm pointing out to you. Okay. Don't keep.
okay. lady waiting. Okay. Calm, down, Calm down, gentlemen. Don't keep a lady waiting. Well, I'm going to go straight to the don't messages. Keep, don't as keep as a lady waiting. I said yesterday, uh, based on comments no, that came out, people were asking... Okay. so your microphones are off, actually. People, was, people were asking for the interior minister to step down. They were asking for Tiwa to step down. Right. And also, um, you know, asking for a lot more other things as well. IGP to step down as well. Let's see what the comments are saying today. So what's a sad story? My condolences to the families of the missing Takradi girls. However, I don't personally support the resignation of the CID boss because her resignation won't bring back the girls. The fact of the matter is that this current government is committed to addressing all the security challenges in this country. As a parent, you need to take full responsibility for our children. This is from Rashid Gupanarigu in Kumbungu constituency. And well, yes, so the former CID boss, Brighto Poku, um, had mentioned also that he didn't see why, or uh, he didn't see the possibility of Tiwa also stepping down, even though he believes that she was misled. Now, good morning. What I don't get in this Takradi girl saga is what the suspects are saying about the girls. Have they confessed to the death? Because you can't have suspects in custody and still be struggling with evidence. This is from Savimbi Sunyane. We're also asking a lot of questions as well. The education minister and his cohorts make no sense at all. Ooh, uh, King from Wa. He says, disaster minister, disaster government, period. I need uh, Comrade Mutala's contact. Uh, are you ready to give that out? Mm -hmm. Anyway, so <laughs> someone sent us a, a, you know, a photo of the self-placement module where someone selected Kofuridia Senior High, Kofuridia Tech, uh, uh, there's another, Skuchemu Senior High, Presby Senior High, Abun, and Forces Senior High. But when the, uh, I think he got Lankwanta, Annan Medina Municipal, uh, well, I think what that's where he was placed. And it's a self-placement, exactly. Allow, allow, allow. That means allow, 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 He's been very disappointing this morning to repeat those despicable words by Napo on such a big TV station. NPP is becoming full of clowns. clowns. Doski from Kumasi. Let me jump to the last message due to time. Okay, Forgive us. I think us. I saw one. Go, go up. Okay. I saw one that is talking about the bussing. Somebody's asking. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, true. Yeah. So... Uh, good morning, TV3. Good morning, Johnny. It's unfortunate for the Minister of Education and a lawyer like this on your show to accept what was said, that people were bust to the Independent Square to embarrass this non-performing Nana Ado government. My questions, number one, are these people placed or not? Two, have they been proven to be people who are not JHS graduates? Three, where were they bust from? The statement is still the demonstration of incompetent leadership, of the incompetent leadership of the minister and the government. This is Koklovi Dabala Volta region. That should be all Koklovi because means small, of small chicken time. or what? I, I'm not sure what that means, by the way. But that will be all for the messages. Thank Partners you, Bella. will read the rest later Thank you. on the Thank show. Thank you, Bella. Yeah. Well, uh, oh, you want to read the last one? Uh, okay. So, quick one. The assurances made by education minister were unfortunate. This government is in power not just for the welfare of Ghanaians, but for themselves. Our eyes are well open now, and we are battle ready to boot them out in 2020. <laughs> I am Hanan from Tamale. Okay. Thank you. You, were, you, you spoke last. Let Bobo, let oh, no, Bobo speak. Oh, no, 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 no. You spoke he last. Spoke and I came. Now yes. You give so, me the on the back, no, but some issues have been raised. No, I'm and saying was that he spoke. And Allah, I Allah, we don't have, we have only two minutes. Johnny, will I was just speak? Johnny, yes. okay. um, uh, of course, I mean, the only one that I think uh, uh, I should respond to really is the one that the picture of the placement form okay. was uh, mm -hmm. posted. Mm -hmm. You see, if you look on the form, you would see that on top of it is written self placement. Okay, what does it mean? In simple English terms, that the student that, that you chose it chose mm. the location. Mm. What it means is that all the schools that he chose at the time that he was filling his forms to write the BEC, mm -hmm. the computer did not place him in any of them because his aggregate and raw scores mm. made him uncompetitive relative to others who had also applied for those schools mm. for him to enter. So the system gave him an opportunity to go and do self-placement. Okay. And then he himself chose the school that he's been placed to mm -hmm. and allocated a boarding place. Right. 
Okay. You see? Um, and so let's let's not try and make the look as if you know people are here to deceive and to and to and to make statements that uh, it's intended to put government in okay. in some light. The facts are the facts. Okay, thank okay. you. No, 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 it's important. Oh, no, but, but, no. no, I give you, you one, one minute. minute. Let, Let me see. Let me take you one, one minute. I beg you. Oh, but he made Johnny, statements. Johnny, this Johnny, was he claimed, Johnny, specifically. He claimed, he claimed, let, it, Johnny, let him take one. Johnny, he claimed that. Johnny, he yeah. claimed that there are enough spaces. He just he said that. Mm. Why are we having this shift system if we have enough spaces to accommodate students? That's food for thought too. From, from, uh, from, the, can the, I, yeah, the, he, the he boss at Ashesi thinks oh, that I'm, government is oh, making good not, use I'm of the classrooms that during vacation period because Johnny, we are not Johnny, letting Johnny, them lie please. follow. Mm. The but but the, the, the ministry of education is as a result of the, the number of education explained. But what is difficult to understand was, about please, this? The minister of education himself <laughs> told us that the reason why they were having this double track was because they did not have enough spaces. Yes. So if he is now claiming, so now we have two streets. Can we cannot oh, accommodate can I, two, two streets of students. Johnny, 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 so there is no place. Johnny, the CID and the IGP himself mm. answers to the Minister of Interior. Okay. The Minister of Interior answers to the President. Okay. So before the IGP or even Tiwa to make any statement on a on a matter such as this, he okay. would have informed. She would have informed the Minister of Interior with the intelligence they had. They would have informed the okay. President. So President Thank Nanado, you. the Minister of Interior, and Tiwa knew. Where the girls you were. Have said that we demand from the president. Yourself, we demand no. Thank we you. demand from the president. Where the girls are. Uh, uh, we demand from the president. 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 We demand from from Mr. Afol here at TV3 and uh, Abena Ewusi Mensa Trust Hospital. This is from your husband Selom Amenya and uh, from your sons Alan and Sean. And also a big one to you, Reverend Anthony Kujo of the ICGC. This is from the group CEO of Media General. And from all of us, uh, we say we salute you. Live long, all of you. If it's your birthday today, happy birthday. You took a selfie without me. That's not fair. Okay. So I'm, I'm joining the selfie. Let's take a selfie. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. The the two the us the two us. <laughs> we'll see you after the break. Stay with us. We'll be right back.